Hey everybody, Carlos the Insurance Guy here with Expert Insurance Team. Uh, today I got an email from uh, the Washington Health Plan Finder. It is the marketplace for the state of Washington and it kind of reviewed the income that they take into consideration when they're um, approving you or, or determining how much tax credit you're, you're, you're eligible for. And I thought this would be a great video. This is something that you know, may not be as important right now because we're, we're outside of open enrollment, but open enrollment is around the corner and people are gonna be doing their applications uh, left and right. So, so let's talk about it. Um, uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of different resources out there that will tell you which, which type of income is counted. You can obviously go to uh, healthcare.gov and uh, find which type of income is counted and not counted. Uh, one of the best resources that, that, that I've come across is is a website um, called healthreformbeyondthebasics.org. Um, they are an organization who specialize in anything that has to do with the ACA and they have awesome videos, webinars, um, slides that, that will tell you everything you need to know about the ACA. So if you guys get a chance and you guys you know, have some questions, uh, you can call me, you can get a quick answer from me, or if you want to take some time and, and, and watch some of their videos, I believe they are excellent. I wish I could pay them a million dollars for, for, for the content they put out there, but I just, I just can't. Okay, so let, let's talk. Um, so the type of income that is counted, uh, your usual income, uh, uh, your, your taxable income from your job, your employer, uh, any kind of tips, anything like that. Um, Self-employment income. Uh, that's counted. So security benefits, uh, unemployment benefits, they have listed alimony, um, retirement benefits, including, you know, VA pensions, uh, any interest earned. You know, if you got a ton of money in the, in, in the bank and you're, you're earning a lot of interest on that money, then, then you have to count that as income. Uh, any kind of rental income, if you got properties out there and you're collecting rent from them, uh, that is something that, that is counted. Uh, what is not counted? You don't have to put your child support on there. Um, you don't have to put SSI income, we'll, we'll go, we'll, we'll get into the difference between SSI and SSDI. Um, you don't have to count workman's comp and you don't have to count veterans benefits, you know, related to, to disabilities um, or gifts or inheritances. Uh, I know some people can get around that or, or find a way to, 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 to claim their money as gifts. But anyways, uh, that's what's counted and what's not counted. Health Reform Beyond the Basics has an awesome slide that will help you uh, determine what your modified adjusted gross income. That's really what the marketplaces are, are looking for. Um, so let's go over that slide. So we start with your adjusted gross in income, your AGI. That can be easily found on line 37 of your, of your form 1040 uh, for, for your taxes. Plus your non-taxable social security benefits which uh, they say is line 20A minus 20B. So do the math and you'll find what your non-taxable social security benefits are. I have a lot of people that I talk to and they say, I don't have to count my social security because it's not taxable. Well, uh, yeah, it's not taxable, but you still gotta count it. They still take it into consideration when they determine premium tax credits. So, so let's talk about the two main ones. Um, there's SSI which is Supplemental Security Income, and there is SSDI, which they call it um, Social Security, I think it's Social Security Disability Income, but they have it listed some, yeah, so Supplemental Social Security Disability Benefits, that's SSDI. So let's talk about SSI first. This is what is not counted. Um, SSI is provided under Title 16 of the SSA. The, it is designed to help persons who are aged blind or disabled uh, or are very low in, are very low income and have limited assets SSI is not taxed and does not count as countable income so if you're collecting SSI that's not something you have to count um, uh, towards your you, that's not something you have to put on your marketplace application uh, when they're determining premium tax credits um, but SSDI you do supplemental Social Security disability benefits um, Social Security income provided under Title II of the Social Security Act includes Social Security Disability Insurance, which is SSDI. Retirement income and survivor's benefits, these are forms of countable income. So you have to count that type of Social Security and not, uh, not SSI, okay? Also, 
as part of your modified adjusted gross income, you have to, um, anything that's tax, tax exempt interest. So interest income that is not subject to federal income tax, which is line 8B. And then also uh, excluded foreign income. Foreign earned income excluded from taxation of individuals who live abroad. And that is on IRS form 2555. I haven't come across anybody that, that has mentioned that or has any of that stuff, but all that is included in your modified adjusted gross income. So it may, again, it may not be important right now because we're outside of open enrollment, but open enrollment is just around the corner and everybody's gonna be renewing their applications or they're gonna be doing it for the first time. Um, this is something that we do here every day. We, we, we fill out these applications for a living. We help people get uh, you know insurance through the marketplace or get their subsidies. So you can do it alone. Again, that's okay, perfectly okay. But if you want an expert on your side, you know, don't hesitate to, to give us a call. We, we, again, we do this for a living. Uh, we can get through the application in you know, 30, 40, 40 minutes where it might take you three hours to get through the application. We've just seen so many of them. So I hope this has helped, guys. Um, I hope everybody has a, a good, uh, good weekend. Uh, July 4th is uh, around the corner. You guys be safe out there. Uh, um, fireworks are pretty crazy. I don't like to shoot off fireworks. I'm just uh, too chicken for it, but uh, there's a lot of people that do. So just, just be careful. Um, enjoy yourself, enjoy your family, and uh, be safe. Uh, we hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.